Joel, thank you very much for doing an excellent presentation this morning. I saw lots of people taking lots of notes. I'm sure it was very interesting. What did you want people to take away from the presentation? I think there are probably two or three key things. One, that uh, there is a thirst for more detailed, more complex data among client bases with, within the whole of Europe. Um, and also that when you're trying to implement a solution to meet those client needs, you need to think about the organisational and structural changes before you start making an investment in technology. In terms of your own challenges, what, what is it that keeps you up at night? What is it that you, you are currently trying to tackle? One of the most difficult things we face at the moment in the distribution part of our business is that our clients have such different varying data needs. Uh, not just within each country we're distributing in, but uh, across the whole of Europe. Um, and actually trying to meet those differing requirements through a single scalable platform is really difficult. And sometimes we have to say no to those clients and, and working out, getting that mix right of when to say no because you need a scalable platform, but when to actually build out something bespoke to meet that particular segment of the client base is, is really difficult. Right. Do you expect the technology investment to go up, down? Are you increasing, I, decreasing it? We, we are spending a lot of money on technology at the moment. As, as I said in the presentation, we're looking to leverage off the investment we've already made. Uh, in terms of our central reference database systems and our analytics systems, uh, but create an engine that we can customise for our clients and give them uh, a more bespoke type of reporting experience. So, yeah, technology investment is, is absolutely key over the next 12 months for us. Right. If by some magic power you could change one big thing in the way the data is run, what would you do? I think the single biggest thing I would uh, change would be around derivative reporting. Uh, more and more of our funds now are taking advantage of use its three wider powers. They're investing in more and more complex derivative instrument types and actually trying to get quality data out and then look at how that derivative overlay impacts on the physical part of the portfolio is, is very, very hard. And if I could wave a magic wand and, and be able to do that all in one go, that would be absolutely fantastic. Joel, thank you very much for your time and for an excellent presentation again. Thank you very much.